Hello, everyone. Thanks for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. I'm here with Chin Sung. This is Manny. And we're going to talk about this deck that we talked about previously, the, the control deck. They're using white, red, a bit of blue. Yeah, of course. Um, so we're going to take this deck into battle today. Um, just for reference, this is um, sort of what we're playing. Uh, just a list up here. And uh, just going to showcase some games and uh, see how we do. So what would, you, what would you call the name of this deck? Um, I don't really have a name for I don't really name my decks. It's not like a habit of mine. So uh, I would just call this Just Guy Control because uh, it's kind of what it is. Um, you can argue like about archetype divisions, like whether this is more mid-range control or, or like control control. Um, there's some wiggle room there. But overall, this is going to be a slow deck that's going to try to win uh you know a long game basically let's see that's blue red okay you want a white source but i think i'm gonna keep the land anyway all right how do you feel about your hand i feel good um i'm a little bit worried about this witch's oven um because I'm not 100% certain what's going on here because um, if I remember correctly, Culture and Familiar is banned. Um, so I'm not really sure what, what is trying to go on here. Tap for additional green, five mana, sure. Now this is two, uh, two, two, uh, two uh, out of three match. Correct. I'm just going to bounce this Haven. Okay. Um, mostly because if he's. This will give me the option to. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take it now to go ahead and just bounce the, the food token hmm. before he can sack it. I think I'm not going to take it. it it's pretty telegraphed that I just have a brazen borrower at the end of his turn, so you'll probably just assume that's what I'm going to do. Yo. Hmm. And I might as well just play this because now we're in the. And then this is going to get another white source. No attack here. I'm not even really sure what he's doing at this point because this is not something that I've seen before. It's, uh, I'm not, I mean, I guess he could be sat. Oh, maybe there's like, there was a new mono green deck, I guess. Uh, there was a new green base deck that was floating around. Hmm. Um, I didn't take a look at it. Like I saw some posts about it. Uh, maybe this is it. And I'm just not familiar with it. That's okay. the only thing that I can think of. Yeah, it involves stuff like Feasting Troll King. So yeah, that makes, makes sense. I'm going to just draw a card here and decline to discard anything. And then I wonder if I'm just going to get Troll Kinged here. Probably. Ah, he's going to fight me. That makes sense. All right, so now we can play a Rooker and Triome. Add some random color of mana to my mana pool. And Elspeth conquers death vet. Worst comes to worst, I get a 4-2 Brazen Borrower out of this. And I guess he can spend some time sacking some green things. Cool. Yeah, this is probably what's going on here. Hmm, that was a mistake. I forgot he had the witch's oven. I should have bounced the witch's oven. Yeah. That was a mistake. Hmm. All right. Uh, 
let's not make the same mistake this time. We're gonna bounce the witch's oven. And then now we're going to... Hmm. I guess I can just exile here. Yeah, because if you kill my Narset, I can get it back. So we're just gonna exile one of these. That was a pretty bad mistake. It might cost me this game. Hmm. Ooh, right. He's gonna get both of my guys. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Let's not play terribly. All right. Now that I now that I know what you're doing, but let's not play terribly. I apologize for how badly played that game was. Let's rely a little more on counter magic and see where this goes. Hmm. Alright, so this is probably that new mono green deck that or green based deck that I saw posts about. I should probably play a little bit more attention to standard, but I just enjoy playing, so. Hmm. So what do you think of your hand right now? I think this is okay. Um, I would like a two mana defensive spell, but we've got some, we've got um, a, a bunch of stuff that that is decent. So I'm not gonna complain too much. And like, I'm not really all that worried about Gilded Goose. I probably should be, but. A Gilded Goose into a Trail of Crumbs opener is still quite strong. Okay. So you are doing stuff like this. That's okay. We can narse it next turn. Uh, so we're gonna take five here and we can narse it next turn. Even if I take seven here, it's not terrible. So then he can either like make his goose do something or we can just go ahead and counter this. I don't have a wrath. If I had a wrath, I would let that resolve. Hmm. Oh, there's the witch's oven. Yeah. So we're going to turn this into a red source. We're going to narse it. I'm going to I'm going to drop the Ugin because I can tap out for the Bane Slayer if I draw a land next turn. Um, or Elspeth Conquer's death is going to get me um, the Bane Slayer and uh, the Ugin into play faster, and which will kill everything that is in Witch's Oven. All right. So that's awkward that I didn't draw a a uh, land. So I'm going to have to draw with this again. Uh, we're going to drop the Bane Slayer Angel to kill the Garrick. And then I might just leave the Beast. Because I can always drag and fire something else. That's fine. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we're gonna take three here. I think I'm gonna go after a gilded goose. I probably should have dropped the dream trawler.
Oh, you bring out, brought out Gadwick. Yep. I need targets for my Elspeth Conqueror's death. Maybe that's why I should I should have killed the beast and not the carrot. But I'm gonna play this tapped. Okay. I also maybe shouldn't have played the land because if he has removal for Elspeth Conquer's death, uh, for Dream Traveler, I'd have to discard in Elspeth Conquer's death. Hmm. He bore out in Wilt, that's good to know. Against Elspeth, the only enchantment in my deck, which is Elspeth Conquer's death. Excellent. Yeah. Do you feel confident? Like you take I do. Um, if he wants to attack with the Flora Hedra, I really don't care. So yeah, we're just not going to. I'm going to bounce the Witch's Oven at the end of his turn if he plays something that I can else spin Conqueror's Death. Okay, cool. great. He's going to scoop. That's good. I'm really, I'm really worried about his non-creature spells. Like that's how he's going to gain enough value against me to beat me in the long, uh, in the semi-long game. Mm. So that's why I want the negates. Um, this kind of stuff that he's opening on right now, like can be an issue, but hmm. isn't too bad. How do you feel about your hand? Uh, I do like it. Um, we're going to go ahead and... <clears throat> hmm. Not really sure what to do here because he's going to have five mana next turn, so I should do something about the Gilded Goose so I don't get Troll King. The question is whether that's just a straight bounce or whether I'm killing it. Uh, I can't kill it with this, which is kind of awkward that I have to spend a dragon fire, but I think I am going to go ahead and dragon fire them. To keep him off of five next turn. Because I strongly suspect he had a troll king. Hmm. Um, that's worth playing. And... I think for similar reasons, since he didn't do anything, I'm just going to bounce the Haven. Just to kind of slow him down. He doesn't seem to be doing anything productive right now with his turns at three mana, so yeah. three and four mana. So, um, you know, I'm going to assume that if he didn't have anything productive to do last turn on four, he also doesn't have anything productive to do on four this turn. And now he's well over the threshold. Um, I would, I, he would need to go ahead and uh, do that. I think I am going to go ahead and narset the Gilded Goose here, since I have the opening to do so. And it gets me a potential fifth land for uh, everything else. Um, I think it's going to be the Cinderclasm because I want all these spells available to me um, and a second 
uh, five or six drop to kill something bigger could be useful. I'm very likely just going to get Troll King this turn. Or that. That also works. Uh, oh, I should have technically left a mana untapped, but whatever. Oh, there's Troll King. Yep. Uh, entirely not surprising. Um, I but think the, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make him spend the, um, spend the three, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and play this on white. And I think I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna play the Baneslayer Angel here and just go with, uh, I got a lot of guys because I'm getting a Dream Trawler back next turn. Mm -hmm. Unless he wants to, uh, unless he has a Wilt for me. I guess maybe I should have defended with this because I have the Negate that probably was a little bit better. Yeah, he's gonna hench me, okay. That's, that could be a problem. Uh, I need to do this anyway, so we're going to add a blue mana. I'm going to bounce the henge. Is this trample? Yeah, it does have trample. Um... So I'm probably going to lose my Narset, but that's fine. Hmm. You think that's what he's gonna, he or she's going to attack next? I think he has to. I think um, I have I have nine power of lifelink and two spells to defend it. So he's not going to be able to um, he's not going to be able to kill me. So I think he has to play for the fact that like he can kill the Narset here. I'm at 29, like, that's fine. That I will counter. Because I wasn't killing him next turn anyway. This is a two turn clock regardless. Hmm. So yeah, I think he has to attack the Narset here. And then he's going to take 11. Um, I think I'm going to hold the on due inversion because in the event something goes badly, on due inversion is, is going to be a good way for me to come back. Hmm. Questing beast, that's fine. Once again, that's just damage. I'm not worried about damage at this juncture. <laughs> 